Please give it up for the next comic, Frank Brown. Let him hear it. Frank Brown, and uh, this is the Hood Parable. If you hear the ice cream man after 10 p.m., the soft white he's serving is not ice cream. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Uh, me and Preach went to DC one time, and that part wasn't the problem. We had to drive back in Noah's flood, and like I swear to God, when I was on the highway coming back, there was like a boat with two giraffes that went by this way, and I swear we pulled up, and it was like a parted sea on the other side of the highway. I was very upset. I don't like driving through good local storms, but we made it, so I'm cool. Before I get into my set, I just, I want to say thank you to the Crafty Crab because I looked at the menu before I came out here and they have a burger. And with that burger, you can get fries. And you like, you laugh, but like, I've been to so many restaurants and establishments and artisanal fucking eateries or whatever they want to call themselves. And like, why do you give me these crusty, rustic skin on freshly cooked kettle chips like i get it they're not bad but like i ordered a hot cheeseburger grease bacon cheese it's just and i gotta deal with these chips fuck that give me the fries let me be fat all the crease right thank you so you're good exactly uh and like, that's what i'm thinking about like also i apologize it is your birthday i feel like i should say this first first happy 21st second i apologize for the person in front of you i work in corporate america so all day, I got to guess, no, please, thank you, sir, ma'am. It look like the front row, and I got to talk to them all day. And I fucking hate it. So it gives me it gives me a chance to cut loose on the fucking microphone so I can say shit like fuck and ass and be happy about it because nobody's going to be mad. I'm at the school. My son in the school. So I'm in the chair like this. Guess, Mrs. Appenstein, what can I do to help you today? She says, we have to talk about your son. That's trying to listen a little serious. Okay, what did he do? Well, he told a joke in class. And like, so the problem with that is, if he tells the joke in class, as a comedian, my first thought, did he laugh? Did the class laugh? Like, was it funny? She's like, oh, that's not the point, Mr. Grouch. He told a joke and it was, it was inappropriate for the class. And I'm like, it can't be that bad. I don't tell him jokes. He looked at the class, he stood up and closed. What is the difference between an enzyme and a hormone? So I was like, well, what's the problem? It sounds very scientific. And she looked at me and she says, Mr. Grouch, your son looked at the class and said, you can't make an enzyme. <laughs> I'm Frank Grouch, y'all have a good night. <laughs>